Ever wondered how a Sigma male, known for his introverted and independent nature, behaves when he's smitten by the arrows of love? Welcome, and join us as we embark on a journey to unravel the enigmatic nature of the Sigma male in love. Sigma males, the lone wolves of society, are a fascinating breed. Often misunderstood due to their introverted and independent tendencies, they possess an allure that is undeniably captivating. Their unique traits, such as self-reliance, introspection, and a penchant for solitude, set them apart in a world that often praises extroversion. But how does this translate into their expressions of love? Do they follow the typical patterns, or carve their own path in matters of the heart? Well, their approach to love, much like their personalities, tends to diverge from the norm. So if you're intrigued by these solitary souls and their unconventional expressions of affection, you're in the right place. Let's dive into the unique world of Sigma males in love. Imagine this scenario. A man, let's call him John, prefers solitude over socializing, yet when he meets Mary, he willingly steps into her world. John is a classic Sigma male. He enjoys his own company, relishes in the quiet moments, and finds solace in his own thoughts. But then, he meets Mary. She's vibrant, full of life, and her world is a stark contrast to his. In the intricate dance of love, John, our Sigma male, does something unexpected. He steps out of his comfort zone, out of the shadows, and into the bright, bustling world of Mary. This isn't just a casual step, mind you. It's a calculated move, a deliberate choice. You see, Sigma males are not antisocial. They're selectively social. They choose who they let into their world carefully. And so, when John steps into Mary's world, it's not because he's suddenly become an extrovert. No, it's because he sees something in Mary that's worth stepping out for. It's love, in its most unadulterated form. John begins to engage in activities that he normally wouldn't. He goes to parties, meets new people, and even tries salsa dancing. He's not doing this because he suddenly enjoys these activities. He's doing this because he loves Mary and he wants to be a part of her world. But here's the catch. John doesn't lose himself in this process. He doesn't become someone he's not. He remains true to his introverted nature, but he's willing to stretch his boundaries for Mary. He's willing to grow, to evolve, to become a better version of himself. This is a clear sign of a Sigma male in love. They're willing to step outside their comfort zone, not because they're conforming to societal norms, but because they genuinely care for the person they're in love with. They're willing to make sacrifices, to adjust, to adapt, all in the name of love. John's actions are his way of showing his love, a clear sign of a Sigma male in love. Picture this, Robert, a self-sufficient man, never needed anyone, but when he met Sarah, things changed. Robert is the embodiment of a Sigma male. He's a lone wolf by nature, loves his solitude, and is fiercely independent. But when Sarah came into his life, it was as if he found the missing piece to his puzzle. Sarah didn't infringe upon his solitude, rather she became a part of it. This is where the Sigma male's unique charm comes into play. Sarah was attracted to Robert's self-reliance, his deep sense of self, and his ability to remain unfazed by the societal norms. But the thing that intrigued her the most was his capacity to commit wholeheartedly while maintaining his independence. This is the paradox of a Sigma male in love. They can be committed, yet independent a feat not everyone can achieve. Robert and Sarah's story paints a clear picture of this. Robert didn't change who he was for Sarah. He didn't need to. Instead, he incorporated Sarah into his world, showing her the beauty of solitude and the strength of self-reliance. He was there for her, steadfast and committed, yet he never lost his sense of self. Sarah understood Robert's need for solitude. She didn't see it as a barrier, but as a strength. She realized that Robert's independence didn't mean he was incapable of love or commitment. On the contrary, it meant that when he chose to love, he did so with intention, with purpose, and with a deep sense of commitment. Robert's love for Sarah wasn't expressed through grand gestures or flamboyant declarations. It was seen in the quiet moments, in his unwavering support for her, in his respect for her individuality, and in his ability to be a partner while still being himself. In essence, Robert's story teaches us 
that being an independent yet committed partner is not a contradiction. It's a delicate balance, a dance between two individuals who respect each other's individuality while also cherishing their shared bond. It's about understanding that love doesn't require you to lose yourself, but allows you to find yourself in another. Robert's balance of independence and commitment is another sign of a Sigma male in love. Think of Alex, a man of few words, who suddenly starts writing poetry for his beloved Jennifer. This is a classic case of a Sigma male expressing his feelings in a unique way. Sigma males are known for their silence, not because they have nothing to say, but because they believe in the power of actions over words. They are the quiet expressors, the ones who prefer to show rather than tell. When a Sigma male like Alex is in love, he may not shower his beloved with sweet nothings or grand pronouncements of love. Instead, he will find a unique, often creative way to express his feelings. This could be through a heartfelt letter, a poem, or a carefully chosen gift that holds a significant meaning for both of them. The key here is subtlety. He won't make a show of his feelings, but his actions will speak volumes. In Alex's case, he chose to express his love through poetry. This is not a random choice. Poetry is a medium that allows for deep expression of feelings. It's a way for Alex to convey his emotions without having to say them out loud. It's intimate, personal, and tells Jennifer just how much she means to him. But it's not just about the form of expression. It's also about the consistency and sincerity behind these actions. A Sigma male in love will consistently find ways to express his feelings. He won't do it for the sake of it or because it's expected of him. He will do it because he genuinely wants to. So if you find a Sigma male going out of his way to express his feelings in his unique quiet way, know that it's not a random act. It's a sign of his deep feelings for you. It's his way of saying, I love you without actually saying the words. Alex's subtle expressions of love are a telltale sign of a Sigma male in love. His actions, his consistency, and his sincerity are the quiet expressions of a Sigma male deeply in love. Consider Mike, who always respects Lisa's personal space, yet shows his affection in his own unique way. Picture a relationship where respect is the cornerstone. This is the world of the Sigma male. He is an individual who values personal space not just his, but also that of his partner. He recognizes that everyone has their own path to walk, their own thoughts to think, and their own emotions to feel. And he respects that. In a world where boundaries are often crossed without a second thought, a Sigma male stands out as a respectful admirer. But respect doesn't mean distance or indifference. Quite the opposite. The Sigma male uses this respect as a foundation to build a unique bond. His love isn't loud or ostentatious. It's subtle, understated, yet deeply profound. He doesn't need grand gestures or flamboyant displays of affection. Instead, he expresses his love in ways that are uniquely his own. Maybe he quietly supports his partner's dreams, providing a steady hand to hold when the path gets rocky. Perhaps he listens, really listens, when his partner speaks, making her feel heard and understood. Or it could be that he remembers the little things, the small details that others might overlook showing his partner that he sees her, truly sees her, in all her complexity and beauty. What's more, the Sigma male doesn't impose his own desires or expectations on his partner. He doesn't seek to change her, but rather he loves her for who she is. He respects her individuality, her autonomy, her right to be her own person. And in doing so, he fosters a relationship that is based on mutual respect and understanding. The Sigma male's respect for his partner's personal space doesn't mean he is distant or unloving. It simply means he has a different way of expressing his love, a way that respects and honors his partner's individuality. Mike's respect for Lisa's space combined with his unique expressions of love is another clear sign of a Sigma male in love. Imagine Tim, a man who would rather observe than talk, but when it comes to Anna, he listens to her every word. Tim is your quintessential Sigma male, self-reliant, introspective, and most significantly, he is a patient listener. But what does it mean when a Sigma male, often seen as a lone wolf, takes the time to truly listen to someone? It's a sign, a clear sign of love, and here's why. In the chaotic hustle of the world, the art of listening seems to be a fading skill. But for a Sigma male, 
Listening is a way of life. It's how they learn, how they understand the world and the people in it. So, when a Sigma male like Tim pays attention to Anna's every word, it's not just about hearing the words, it's about understanding her, her thoughts, her experiences, her dreams, and her fears. Sigma males are not swayed by superficial chatter. They value depth and authenticity. So if Tim is truly listening to Anna, it means he values her thoughts and opinions. He respects her individuality. He wants to know her, not just on a surface level, but in all her depth and complexity. Moreover, Sigma males are known for their selective social engagement. They don't waste their time on trivial conversations. If a Sigma male is investing his time and energy into listening to you, it shows he considers you important. It's his way of showing that he cares, that he is willing to step out of his comfort zone for you. Also, listening is a form of vulnerability for Sigma males. It's their way of letting you in, into their world, into their thoughts, into their solitude. It's a silent confession of their trust and affection. Tim's attentive listening is a clear sign of his love for Anna, indicative of a Sigma male in love. It's not about grand gestures or flamboyant declarations. It's about the silent, profound connection built through the simple act of listening. For a Sigma male in love, listening is not just hearing, it's understanding, it's caring, it's loving. Picture Brian, a man who keeps to himself, but when he commits to a relationship with Emily, he is loyal to the core. This is a classic example of a Sigma male in love. A Sigma male's loyalty isn't about grand gestures or ostentatious declarations. Instead, it's a quiet, unwavering commitment that stands as a testament to their deep affection. Let's delve into the world of Sigma males and their unique approach to loyalty. Unconventional, introverted, and self-reliant, Sigma males often prefer solitude. But when they choose to be in a relationship, their loyalty is unshakable. They don't love half-heartedly. When they love, they love completely. Loyalty for them is a silent promise, a vow that is rarely spoken, but always kept. In the realm of a Sigma male like Brian, loyalty is also about respect. It's about respecting the autonomy of their partner, understanding their needs, and standing by them through life's ups and downs. It's about being a steadfast partner, a reliable rock in the turbulent sea of life. Brian, for instance, doesn't need to make grand declarations of his loyalty to Emily. Instead, his actions speak louder than words. His steadfast presence in Emily's life is a testament to his unwavering loyalty. Loyalty for a Sigma male is not a fleeting emotion, but a deep-seated belief. It's not about being possessive or overly protective, but about providing a sense of security and trust. It's about being there, consistently and unconditionally. It's about standing by their partner's side, not because they need to, but because they choose to. Sigma males like Brian understand that loyalty isn't about chaining oneself to another. Instead, it's about freely choosing to be with someone, cherishing them, and standing by them, come what may. They believe in the power of commitment, the strength of silent love, and the beauty of unspoken promises. Brian's unwavering loyalty to Emily is a testament to his love for her, a classic sign of a Sigma male in love. In a world that often misunderstands and misinterprets the Sigma male, their profound sense of loyalty stands as a beacon of their deep and enduring love. So how does a Sigma male behave when he's in love? Let's recap. In our journey, we've unraveled the often misunderstood, enigmatic Sigma male. We've seen how love, in the Sigma male's world, is not the typical loud proclamation, but a quiet, deep, and steady current. Firstly, we delved into the Sigma male as an introverted lover. Unlike his extroverted counterparts, his love is not a public spectacle. It's a private affair, shared only with the one who holds his heart. He might not shout his love from the rooftops, but his actions will speak louder than any words could. Then we explored the Sigma male's independence within a relationship. He is a committed partner who values his personal space and respects his partner's need for the same. His love doesn't bind or restrict. Instead, it liberates and encourages individual growth. Next, we looked at the Sigma male as a quiet expressor. His love language is subtle but meaningful. He might not pen down love letters or shower his beloved with compliments, but his small, thoughtful gestures are his love notes, written in a language only the heart can comprehend. We also discovered the respectful admirer in a Sigma male. 
He treats his partner with utmost respect, valuing their thoughts, opinions, and dreams. His admiration is not just limited to physical attraction, but extends to the intellectual and emotional realms as well. We then observe the Sigma male as a patient listener. He listens to understand, not to respond. His love is reflected in his willingness to lend an ear, to be there in silence when words fail, and to offer comfort and support when needed. Finally, we've noted the Sigma male as the loyal partner. His love is not fleeting or fickle, but enduring and steadfast. He's not one to give up easily on a relationship, and when he loves, he loves deeply and faithfully. In conclusion, understanding a Sigma male's love signals requires a keen eye and an open heart. It's about reading between the lines, appreciating the subtle gestures, and recognizing the depth of his quiet expressions of love. It's about understanding that his love may not come in the conventional packages we're accustomed to, but in its own unique and profound way. Understanding these signs will help you decipher the unique language of love of a Sigma male. Remember, every Sigma male is unique, and so is his expression of love.